Hey everybody, I'm Lance Koike, and today I just want to, you know, talk about all the hard work you've put in. So you've you've learned a lot watching through all these videos and and figuring out how to write a really good program for you. And you know, I I applaud you. It's it's not that easy. It can be easy, but there's a lot to take into consideration. So, you know, don't overthink it if you haven't actually written that program yet, but all I want to make sure is that you don't mess it up. Okay, so what people normally do is they plan a lot around the lifting. They plan a lot around the workouts because it seems like that is the challenging part. Like you're you're going in the gym and you have to sweat really hard and your muscles burn and things kind of hurt. And, you know, that's where you make all of your progress. And <laughs> The truth is, it's just not the case. That isn't how it works at all. What actually happens is you go to the gym for an hour and you work really hard and it does good things for your genetics. And yes, it does make you healthier. But all of the rest of the day is when all the the, you know, the change actually happens. The signals start happening because you worked out, but the change has to happen throughout the rest of the day because I have 23 more hours to make or break my my progress here. So if you've written this nice program, please don't mess it up. Please just Sleep eight hours a night. Please try to find a way to sleep through the night and not have to get up. You know, don't drink too much water right before you go to bed and don't have a huge meal that's going to interrupt your hormonal levels or make you sweat at night or whatever. And, you know, don't sleep in a scalding hot room of 80 degrees. Even, you know, I would say even 70 degrees is scalding hot to me these days. Um, yeah. Make sure your body is cool enough so that you can fall asleep and make sure you have, yeah, you know, enough ambient noise so that you're not waking up. All of these things are just little tactics that you can use. But the rule is sleep about eight hours uninterrupted. Uh, don't have alcohol before you go to bed either because it messes up your sleep. Even though it might make you tired, even though it might make you fall asleep, your sleep cycles get messed up so you don't sleep well. Um, so eight hours of alcohol driven sleep is like six hours of normal driven sleep. That number is totally made up. Don't take that to the research. Now, you've written this good workout and you sleep really well, but you can still mess it up, right? You can still eat really crappy. And I don't want you to do that either. I don't want you to just put on all this great muscle mass and fat while you're trying to build muscle, that's not the goal, right? The goal is generally, at least, to look a little bit better. And so you want more muscle, yes, but you don't want to put on more fat because then you don't look as good. You don't look as chiseled. You don't look as muscular. You don't look as lean. You don't look as fit. You don't look as healthy, generally, to an extent. If you get really, really skinny and really veiny, you don't really look that healthy. Anyways, OK, so if you're, that's just building muscle, if you're losing weight, it's really easy to mess up your great program by not eating a little bit less. If you just keep eating the amount that you're eating and if you increase your workout output by a lot, that might be enough if you maintain the amount that you're eating. But, if you know, you're going to have to be a little bit hungry if you're going to start losing some weight. So pay attention to your diet. Make sure you're not eating too much. Make sure you're, you know, you're eating enough. I have a client who will sometimes eat like 900 calories in a day and then doesn't lose weight. And it's because her body is saying, oh, crap, I don't want to lose whatever I have because who knows when I'll get more. I better just hang on to all of it. And so that interferes with the nice hormonal signaling that you get from the workouts that you're doing. OK, the. Please, 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 if you've taken the time to write or even purchase a workout from someone or for you, don't mess it up. 
make sure you sleep really well and make sure you eat really well and make sure you're, you know, you're not too stressed out. You're just, you know, living life, getting better in the gym, being fitter, doing whatever hobbies you like to do. I like to play guitar sometimes. I like to build computers and stuff. What do you like to do? Make sure you set aside that time. Make sure you're body and your mind is staying happy because otherwise your body's not going to see the progress that you want.